This is Mr. Martin. These are the video notes for uh, section 11.1. This will be part one of the notes. There will be multiple parts. Um, so this is just an introduction to limits. Uh, and for this first example, we're just going to explore the concept of a limit. So we're going to take a look at uh, the function f of x is equal to x cubed minus 1 over x minus 1. And we're going to complete the chart and uh, look at the results. So if you want to do this on your uh, calculator, uh, what I would suggest is after you uh, make sure that you're in uh, rectangular mode, uh, function mode, F-U-N-C, and then um, if you go to table set, so you're going to hit second window, and under the independent variable, you want to hit ask. So then after you do that, when you go to table, under the X column, you can enter in all these X values that we have here, and when you hit enter, it will give you the corresponding Y value. So um, go ahead and pause the video for a second and get that function entered into the Y equals, and um, make sure that your uh, table set for your independent variable is ask, and then go into your uh, table, and you can start entering these values, uh, and then if you want to restart the video, um, or you can write them in as I write them in. So for um, 0.75, I've got 2.31. And then I'm going to switch over to the other side for 1.25. This is 3.81. And then I'm going to go back to 0.9. And this should be 2.71. And for 1.1, I have 3.31. And these values, again, are arbitrary, but you notice that they're getting closer and closer to the value of 1. For 0.99, we've got 2.97. For 1.01, we have 3.03. .03. And for 0.999, we have 2.997. And our last one we have 3.003. .003. So if you notice, we can't use the value of 1 because we'll get 0 in the denominator, and that's undefined. But you can see, as we get closer to 1 from either side, we're getting closer to a value. So let's take a look at two questions. This is actually a calculus concept. So before calculus, what happens with the function at x equals 1? Well, it is undefined. Undefined. Okay, but in calculus, what we want to do is we want to see what happens as x approaches 1. So this value, the values that we use for x in the chart, they're getting closer and closer to 1. We may not get exactly to 1, but we're going to get very, very close to 1, and we want to see what happens to the value of the function. So this concept here is a limit. So what we would say is, what is the limit as x approaches 1 for this function, which is x cubed minus 1 over x minus 1? Well, we can see the pattern here in the chart is that we're getting very, very close to 3. So here we're at 2.997, very close to 3. Here we're at 3.003, .003, again, very close to 3. So even though we don't know or we can't find the value of the function at 1, we can figure out what's happening as we get closer and closer to 1. What is the limit as we approach that? So an informal definition here. If f of x becomes arbitrarily close to a single number l as x approaches a number c from either side, just like in our example, we were approaching it uh, from both sides of 1, the limit of f of x as x approaches c is going to be that number l. So the limit as x approaches c of f of x is that limit l. So the concept here, in a limit problem, x gets closer and closer to c, and this is the important part, but it never gets there. Okay, And we want to see what happens to the function when x um, so it never gets there, but what happens to the function when x equals c has no effect on the answer to the limit problem. Okay, Though for continuous functions, the function value equals the limit, and we'll look at that, and it can be used to compute the limit. All right, so these, these concepts here are very important. 
it never gets to that value of c. And what happens to the function when x equals c has no effect on the answer to the limit problem. So let's take a look at a couple of examples here. And we're going to use the chart. Obviously, when x is equal to c, this is undefined. But let's go ahead and, again, if you want to pause the video and get this entered in, notice that the value that we're approaching here, this is in the middle of our chart. And then we're just looking at numbers on either side. So we're starting at a quarter away from 2 at 1.75 and a quarter above at 2.25. And then we're just getting closer and closer uh, from the left and from the right. So again, if you want to pause the video and um, plug this into your calculator and fill in your own values, go ahead. Um, otherwise, I'm going to put these in. So at 1.75, the value of the function is 0.75. At 2.25, it's 1.25. At 1.9, it's 0.9. At 2.1, we have 1.1. At 1.99, I have 0.99. So you're probably getting a pretty good idea of what we're approaching here. At 2.01, we have 1.01. .01. And then at 1.999, the value is 0.999. 2.001, we have 1.001. .001. So we can see that the limit as x approaches 2 of this function, we're getting very, very close to 1. Okay, We'll never reach 1 because... Um, Two, we're going to have a hole in the graph, but we're approaching it. The limit as x approaches 2 is approaching 1, and we can see it's approaching 1 from the left side and from the right side. All right, next problem, part B. Again, if you want to pause the video and plug this function into your calculator so you can um, work it out and make sure you're getting uh, the same values that I do, feel free. So when we plug in negative, so again, here's our limit as x approaches 0. So we're right here. And then we have values starting at a hundredth away on the left and the right, and then getting closer and closer. So for negative 0.01, we have 1.995. For positive 0.01, we have 2.005. For negative 0.001, we have 1.9995. For 0 0.001, we have 2.005. You probably are noticing what we're approaching here. For negative 0 0.001, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, we have 1.9999. And for positive 0 0.0001, 0, 0, we have 2.0. 0, 0, 0, 0, so you can see we're getting very, very close to 2. Okay, so the limit as x approaches 0 of x over the square root of x plus 1 minus 1 is equal to 2. Moving on to the next example, we're looking at the limits as x approaches 0 of sine x over x. So again, if you want to pause the video and go ahead and uh, figure out what these values are to see what the limit is going to be. And we're going to actually use this limit um, later on, probably not in this video, but we're going to use the results of this to help us find another, another limit. So for negative 0.1, we have 0.9983. For positive 0.1, we have 0.9983 also. For negative 0.01, we have 0.99998. And for positive 0.1, we are 01, we have the same value, 0.99998. And then for negative 0.001, we have 0.99999. And then on the other side, we're going to have the same value, 0.99999. So we can see approaching it from the left and approaching it from the right, we're getting very, very close to 1. All right. And again, 
remember this. Remember this results because we're going to use it later to find another limit. All right, so let's take a look at another example. For this function, we have f of x is going to be equal to 1 for all x values not equal to 2. And then when x is equal to 2, it's going to equal 0. So if we take a look at this, we basically have y is equal to 1 everywhere except at 2. So I'm going to have a hole here, and then it's going to be y is equal to 1, y is equal to 1 everywhere except at 2. And then at 2, it's going to be equal to 0. So again, keep in mind, we're not really interested in what the value of the function is at 2, because we're going to look at the limit of f of x as x approaches 2, but we want to see what's happening as we're getting closer and closer to 2. Okay? Because f of x equals 1 for all values of x other than when x is equal to 2, and because the value of f of x at 2 is immaterial, it follows that the limit is, go ahead and write down your answer if you think you know it, the limit is 1. Okay, even though when we get to 2, it's going to equal 0, as we approach 2, it's equal to 1. All right, so let's take a look at uh, some limits that do not exist. I think we'll get through uh, part A for this one. Actually, we'll, let me end the video here, and then uh, we'll start uh, the next video. We'll start at this spot. Um, if you have any questions, make sure that you uh, keep track of those as you're watching through the video and ask them the next time you see me. And uh, make sure you're working through the practice problems, um, and we'll uh, see you in the next video.